Hey guys, look at this mess. That's actually not that bad. All right, well, it's been cloudy and rainy for a couple days. Um, so I'm running the generator. Now, part of the problem was, you know, I use a regular coffee pot running off the inverter in the morning. Um, I don't let it stay on, I only, you know, let it brew. And then I put my coffee into a thermos like this, a good thermos. Um, but it still uses a lot of power with in the combination of that. I also, I'm also needing to run the heat, um, not just the buddy heater, but the furnace and that uses a lot of energy as well. So batteries do start to go down. I watch TV. I always have lights on, you know, the laptop plugged in, you know, that uses power. So even with a good battery bank, I still have to charge the batteries. Um, if we don't get any sun. So I'm running the generator. Now I just want to show you something here. You can see here that we're running right now. Voltages are about 14.5, 4, 14.4. But I want to show you something outside. I just have this light plugged in here. I use a 40 amp charger battery charger in addition okay to the uh, to the house's converter you can see there it's it's pulling in 26 amps per hour it was at 40 okay when I started you know about an hour ago um, it was pumping in about 40 amps into the batteries in addition to the converter you know something, if you're going to run your generator, a lot of times it's a lot more efficient to bring a standalone battery charger than it is to just let the converter do it with the generator running. Okay, your generator, your converter probably maxes out around 13, 13 and a half volts, um, and what, you know, DC, and what that does is it drops the amperage down. So you're, you're running your generator, you're running your big old generator, and probably only putting in five amps, maybe even less, um, for most of the time that the generator is running because of the spike in the voltage. When you use a standalone uh, battery charger, you're able to put a lot more amps into your battery in a shorter amount of time, um, which equals less generator time. So that's just a quick tip, guys. Um, Bring a standalone gen uh, generator. Bring a standalone battery charger, like a speed charger, something like that. Like for me, it's 40 amps. That's the biggest one that I have, so that's what I use. And it's a three, it's a three-stage smart charger, so I don't have to worry about it. It'll slowly lower the voltage, you know, lower the amperage down as the batteries become full. It's trying to get them to 15 volts for the uh, deep cell batteries, and I'm pretty much. 80%. You're never, it's not efficient to try to charge your batteries all the way to 100% with your generator. It's just the last 20% trying to fill it, it just, it's just not efficient. You're better off just getting it to 80 and then shutting it off and then the next day doing the same thing if there's no sun. Let your solar bring it that extra 20%, but trying to charge your batteries to 100% using a generator is not efficient at all. All right, guys. Well, just a quick tip. I know it's about four minutes, but hey, it's something.